for our return to live theatre, we have chosen a, a big musical comedy. It's bold, it's brash, it's got tons of wonderful numbers in it. Um, loads of costume changes. Nightmare though that be, it's fun. Um, and yes, we've, we've gone for something that really has pizzazz. The plot of this show is based on the Monty Python film, Monty Python, the Holy Grail. So it is obviously bizarre and ridiculous and crazy and silly, um, but it does center on a quest. Famously, the quest of King Arthur and his Knights of Camelot to go and find the Holy Grail. They're not sure why, they're not sure what it is, they certainly have not a clue where they're gonna find it, but they have a lot of fun on the way and they encounter lots of strange and unusual and, and crazy characters in their quest. Um, and and I, I cannot tell you how the quest ends. Uh, other than somewhat unexpectedly and happily. We have a huge cast. We have 70 in the cast, it's brilliant. Um, we have 60 something kids and several members of staff as well. Um, the crew is also large because it's a big complicated show and it needs that. And we're delighted to say it's a whole college production. So we have actors from second form all the way up to the upper six. And as I say, some of their house staff and some of their teachers are in it as well. But I can't say too much. Mystery, special guest appearances. There have been some challenges along the way. And of course, everyone understands that. And for that reason, I want to thank the whole company and also the wider college community for supporting us to be able to stage this play and to do live theatre and to enjoy that. The students have shown that they can get a lot out of overcoming any problems and rising to the challenges with creative problem solving. And the show hopefully will be testimony to that. I am looking forward tremendously to welcoming Glen Arman families to watch this wonderful show, Spamalot, and join us on our quest on Friday, the 10th of December, via the power of streaming.